What's good, Meathead? Coach Mandler here. In this week's Flex Friday video, I've got an intense upper body and core dominant routine for you to try that will only require a heavy dumbbell, a few kettlebells, and about 20 minutes of your precious time to complete. That's 20 minutes, of course, contingent upon the fact that you're not grab-assing around between sets, checking out your Instagram, or looking for proper squat depth on the chick next to you who's sporting a killer wedgie. Now, speaking of time between sets, I'd like to remind you all that if you're looking for better and faster results in the fat loss and the overall performance gains department with your training, the best way to achieve that without changing a single thing you're doing is simply elevating your level of intensity via decreasing the rest between sets. The God's honest truth for all of us, me too, is that we lose track at times of just how much rest we're taking in between working sets. And when that's the case, not only are we losing a valuable opportunity for performance and aesthetic conditioning gains, but we're also decreasing the positive impact that shorter, more intense anaerobic workouts have on both our endocrine system as well as our metabolic rate. So what I challenge you to do is from now on, be more strict and observant with your rest periods between sets by timing them. Yeah, for more demanding multi-joint barbell lifts where maximal strength is the goal, you'll want to rest more, let's say three to four minutes between attempts to give your body's ideal energy source a chance to refuel for the next attempt, but for the more hypertrophy and work capacity based circuits that we do after said barbell lifts for maximal strength, make it a point to rest no more than let's say three minutes between rounds. This speeds up the entirety of the workout so that your cortisol levels don't go through the roof, which subsequently puts you in better position to see higher levels of testosterone and HGH later, plus also increases the overall oxygen deficit you achieve from your workout, which allows for an elevated metabolic rate, which is big for anyone looking to burn more body fat. Hopefully that makes sense. If it didn't and you have no earthly idea what the hell I just told you about, just remember my number one golden rule for muscle sparing fat loss. Keep your heart rate jumping and your muscles pumping and you'll be just fine. Now, let's get started on this week's performance fat loss flex Friday routine.
Hey man, thank you so much for checking out today's performance fat loss workout. If you enjoyed it and want to see more videos like this that give you simple tips along with quick, no-nonsense workouts, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel, and check back daily for the fresh new offerings that I post up here on the reg. And if you can, before leaving, make sure to leave whatever your biggest fitness questions or concerns are down below so that I can do my part to help you build the necessary plan of action that gets you the better long-lasting results that you're looking for. Remember, my role as your coach is to be the person that helps navigate you along the right path, but in order to do that, I need an open line of communication between the both of us. So please, don't be shy. Help me help you by leaving your biggest question down below and I promise I'll set you down the friction-free path that gets you the best, fastest, most pain and frustration-free results that you've ever gotten. Deal? Great. Appreciate your time, guys. Have a good one. Mandler, out.